Traveler, Paimon, would you join us and play Mar Chausset Hunter Judgment Day? This script was adapted from the real history of the Maro Shose Hunters. You all will play the role of hunters from a bygone era and resolve a series of events unfolding in the capital. Many of my habits are customs I've adopted from the Maro Shose Hunter tradition. They fought against monsters, while I fight against lawbreakers. For when I draw my blade, I am but an instrument of Fontaine's law. Loaded. Time to testify. Madam Mage says that every page of a storybook is a segment of the present. So vast and mysterious. There must be quite a story behind this place. So, I'll explore this place with you to the end. Let's never stop hoping for victory. Way ahead of you! Move or be moved! Not that I doubt your fighting ability, of course. It's just so much more dangerous in there than I ever imagined. Oh, well, if it hurts, just let me know. Let's blow bubbles! Don't be nervous! Just relax! A strange disease. One I suspect that every Fontanian suffers from. But they don't trust me at all. Do you really think it matters whether I'm Melazine or a human? I don't believe Master would suddenly disappear for no reason. There must have been something she just had to do. In the New World, they bade farewell to the Shrouded Sun. At last, they no longer needed to dwell on their suffering, or try to differentiate between various thoughts of blasphemy. Such was the price they paid, and thus, their souls became cleansed and pure. The way he's holding his sword, he must be a real Mara Chose hunter. You used it yourself, didn't you? That's why you have a human appearance. That's quite the gamble. But I believe that I am the one walking into a trap. One day... I shall have my vengeance. That way, Captain Dainsleff could accomplish his own goal. The loom of fate has already been completed. <laughs> Traveler, let me ask you this. Do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you? <laughs> 